So one of the things that we can do with SharePoint is we can create a lookup field so that a SharePoint list can go and pull information from another SharePoint item. So to give you an idea of how to do that, what I've done is I've created a contacts list here. So what you'll see is a list of last name, first name, email address and whatnot. So think of this as the contact details of all the employees in the organization. Now what I'm going to do is set up another list that will refer to this, basically do a lookup and denote people's location within um, the building. Now to do that what I need to do is to create a new custom list so to do that I'm going to go to uh, site contents, I'm going to add an app and the app that I'm going to choose here is the custom list app. So I'm going to select that and what I'm going to do is call this list location. Now when that custom list is created what you'll see is that it is created with a single field. Now to get to that I just click on uh, location here and you'll see that the only item, uh, the only column that I've got is title. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into list up the top here, go into list settings and I'm going to start customizing this. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the word title, the uh, field name and I'm going to change that to location. Now you'll notice here that in this custom list I can't delete this initial column um, to start off with. So what I've got is again just that single column plus my standard modified created and created by modified by. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select create a new column. Now in this case what I'm going to do is this is going to look up somewhere else. So I'm going to call uh, this column person and what I'm going to do is select the option down here called lookup information that's already on the site. So if I scroll down here you'll see that um, I fill in the normal um, conditions here and you'll see that it's asking me where it wants to get this information from on the SharePoint site. Now if I pull that down you'll see that I can choose from documents, um, site assets, any of the other lists that I have in my SharePoint. But in this case contacts is correct now we can now select which field we want to pull from. Now obviously what I could pull from is the uh, last name and that might get a bit confusing if we have a double up so normally we probably want to select the field here which is uh, full name there. So once we've selected that you'll see that because we're linking it to a list we can also select additional columns from the lookup list to um, display. So what I'm going to do here to make things easy is maybe display the email address and the business phone number so that I can create a list to make it easy for people to look up. And here I can choose whether to enforce the relationship, meaning that if I uh, ch if that changes I can enforce that, but in this case I'm just going to leave that be. Now what we'll see now is that our uh, new location um, list here will now have the original field which we renamed called location. You'll see that it has the person field which is actually looking up somebody and then linked to that it has the person email address and the person's business phone number as we elected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and add a new item. So we'll click on the new item there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say okay the location is going to be office number one. Now who's going to live in Office 1? We pull this down and these are all the people who are in our contacts list. So what I'll do here is select the first person. You'll notice that I can't make any changes to any other fields but when I save that the information about Barry will be pulled in to this, uh, this list here and filled in the appropriate field because these additional two columns here are actually referring to our contacts list. Now you'll also notice that I have the ability once I've selected that person their name becomes hyperlinked. So now if I select on that you'll see now it shows me the record from that original list and I can for example go in here and what I might do is go in here to the original list and I am going to make a add a business number here and save that and you'll see that that will update not only in our original uh, contacts list but will also update here in my lookup. So again I add another item here 
and go in here and set this to Office 2. I'll pull down to do a lookup here and I'll select this user. You'll see that once again their information will be brought across. I'm missing a business number there so again I can select them and go in and edit any of this information. So go in there and edit the information and make it uh, give it a phone number and save it. You'll see that that is automatically updated. Now if again I go to my uh, contacts list, so this is the original list that's being looked up, you'll see that that phone number now has been entered into here as expected. Now just some quick other things here, you'll see here that I have um, the field called person colon email address and person colon business phone, uh, a bit cumbersome there so again to edit that I go into list, go into list settings and then if we scroll down here basically we'll see the field name. So again you'll see these are lookups, so if I select the field name here you'll see that now I can go in and uh, tidy this up a bit um, and again get rid of any of that uh, information that I don't want. So I just select the field here and then what I can do is just go in and get rid of the person at the beginning there and make that a clean entry and then simply go OK to update that information. Alright, so now you'll see that it reads email address. Again, if I go into uh, person business, you'll see now if I get rid of it at the beginning of that and just update that, you'll see that this field name is now uh, just business phone. And if I go back to my uh, location list, you'll see that those field headings have now updated and again, much tidier than it was before. So. Again, just to recap, what you can do is you can use SharePoint to do lookups from different items elsewhere in SharePoint. Now the way we do that is we go into the list, we go into, in this case we'll go in and what we want to do is we want to add a column so we can do this via the list settings. Then we can go scroll down here and we just add a column as we would normally. But in this case, when we go to add a column, we select the option here called Lookup, and then that will ask us where do we want to pull this information from. And you'll see that we can pull that information from anywhere in our um, SharePoint area. So if I select Documents, just to give you an example, you'll see that I can now link to the ID of a document, the created copy source, all that sort of information. So once I've done all that, I've created basically a linking between the two lists which means that I only need to have one source of information and that can then be propagated into other areas within SharePoint. So hopefully that gives you a basic overview of how to create lookup in SharePoint. Thanks very much for watching.